when a main character has a pomodoro, looks like Elvis, starts off with his first sentence talking about boobies, 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 and loves butts, and at the same time has a supernova and a freaking Hawaiian doll, you know you've got a badass anime on your hands. Space Danny is by far my favorite anime of this year so far of what I've seen. It is so freaking unbelievable. For one instance, what makes this anime just, I, I can't believe the awesomeness of it and the breathtaking cr extreme craziness of this series was the actual dub. Now, I am a big person on subs and dubs. I personally prefer to actually watch Japanese subs and just, you know, watch in Japanese. But as we all know, actually Space Dandy aired into on Toonami today in actual English dub. Now you're thinking like, whoa, 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 why is there an English dub already? This is the first time ever in Toonami history, and I think even in America, that an actual uh, airing Japanese anime that's actually currently airing has gotten aired in America. That is unreal. This is a new start for anime and getting anime more out there to the public to be able to show more people about anime and uh, otaku culture in general. Space Dandy. Wow, I thought it was going to be terrible, but I need to be slapped this instant. Someone slapped me right now. That was, oh man, the, the, the conversation right at the beginning. The narrator, the narrator, they broke the fourth wall literally right at the freaking beginning of this episode talking about the fourth wall. Hey, the narrator needs to make the entire prologue and all that. And when he got spaced and he says, oh, we need to stop breaking the fourth wall. It's just, come on. It is so awesome. The voice actors are great. For it to be an English dub, I will say, they did a damn good job on the dub. I mean, all the characters fit perfectly, and it really, really helps out. The music is fine, the acting is fine, the animation is freaking awesome. Uh, this anime is a must-watch. I said that while Witchcraft Works was a must-watch, but in my opinion, this is better. This is awesome. I never would have thought and dreamed how great this anime would have been. It is definitely one of the series of this probably season that's going to stand out among the rest. And wow, I, I just cannot believe how interested I am in the actual dub of an anime along with how awesome the story is. Okay, so right at the end, we had a freaking supernova. A supernova. Space Dandy's getting attacked by a bunch of creatures and all that. And you're like, pretty much, he said, okay, everybody, uh, pretty much warp is out of there. And he's like, oh, oh that might take a while because the warp drive is freaking slow as hell. It takes like five minutes. I and mean, when you got Meow saying, hey, you know, we could just, you know, fly down there. It, you know, it'll be faster. <laughs> he's like, this is very anticlimactic. So pretty much they get down there and they try to go warp teleport back up into their freaking ship. And they are like, okay, let's take him to the So Space Danny pulls out a freaking gun, starts shooting. He looks like a freaking badass Elvis Presley. He just, whoa. And he's starting to fire, and you see the awesome action of flipping. They have some CGI, and he got to see how they're, like, just riding on a rock boulder. And when he says, okay, last plan, and the ship looks like it's about to get destroyed and ruined, he's like, okay, press the Hawaiian doll's head down. And then the robot's like, okay, what to do? And it's like, okay, it's going to cause a supernova, blow up the entire planet, kill every living being on this planet. And so the robot says, okay, how are we going to get out of here? He's like, oh, well, maybe that's why I never used that Hawaiian doll, because I never had a backup plan. <laughs> and then just the entire planet explodes. I, and then they have a big the end at the end of the episode. Of course, it's not the end of the series. But the way they managed to just betray that, I would have been fine with the anime to end on this first episode. It's just, it was just so much random, so much awesomeness, that I, I could not freaking process the epic anime I was watching. Space Dandy is definitely my favorite of this year so far, and I am going to continue watching and reviewing this anime. Next time, I'm probably going to do a live reaction review on this because I, I cannot believe what I saw this episode. The entire fan service parts, even how America's actually Toonami was showing these type of fan service parts, it got me. The actual cussing and swearing, they didn't censor that out. So Toonami's doing a good job. They're taking this show into the right direction. It doesn't feel like it's censored. It doesn't feel like it's overbearing. And it's just the right amount of fan service, comedy, action, and badassery with uh, Pomodors that make me just want to drool. Alright, buddy, this is going to be end of my anime review on Space Dandy. Tell me what you think about this anime. If you haven't seen this anime yet, you need to go watch it right now. Seriously. In this review, I don't even know why you continue to listen to this review if you haven't seen the freaking first episode. Well, everybody, you have a wonderful night or day wherever you live. Please stay safe. Chibi out.